analyze randomness in web application data using sequencer. Now in this video we are going to learn about what is sequencer, how we can use it and what are the features available inside sequencer. So now what you can do here you can start the burp suite community edition and you can start the browser of your system. So now guys uh, I'm here at the desktop of Windows 10 machine and uh, I've started the burp suite inside my Windows machine. So here is the burp suite and we are learning about uh, sequencer right. So what is the use of sequencer? The, the use of sequencer is to get information about the randomness of the data or we can also call it entropy. So if you want to measure the entropy of that particular data for example cookie so you can check if the cookie we are getting is unique or not if it is not unique then it means uh, the cookie is in weak condition right so that can be checked using sequencer right so let me give you an example here so what you can do here you can intercept a request inside burp suite and then we can check inside sequencer that uh, what is the cookie condition inside the web application so let me open the browser first here is our sample website so let me take the last one test asp net.volnaweb.com let's check what is the condition of the cookie inside this website let me click on login first of all let's change the proxy settings so let me click on options and uh, let me come down click settings and click manual proxy configuration and click ok all right now what you can do here you can provide the username and the password right and uh, then we will get a cookie there on the burp suite and then we can check the condition of that query for example username is test password is test you can click login and now we got the request inside burp suite here it is right so this is the request or you can also click here the same request is here so intercept is there here you can see that asp.net session id is available here or you can say the cookie is available here so if you want to check the randomness of the cookie or the uniqueness of the cookie so you can check it with sequencer or we can say measurement of entropy of uh, cookie inside a website because the uh, cookie should be unique each and every time so we can check the condition of the cookie if it is in poor condition or it is in excellent condition so that can be done using sequencer what you can do here you can simply send this request from here to sequencer tab so you can right click here and you can click on send to sequencer and click here so you can see a sequencer has changed its color click here and here you can see that uh, this is the host right this is the request and token location within response so here is the form field available right so it has automatically taken your variable from there to here now to get information about the condition you can simply click on start live capture here it is and now you can see here that it is taking tokens so you can wait for 500 tokens to 1000 tokens and then you can check or analyze the result that uh, what is the condition of this cookie right so you can also click on auto analyze let me take on that and it will provide you information about the condition of the cookie if the cookie is weak or not here it is so let me stop it you can wait till the end but i am just showing you the information so here you can see you don't need to check the graph you can simply check the result here right so the result is available here you can see the overall quality of randomness within the sample is estimated to be extremely poor right so because the website is a sample website so that's why it is not using security maximum security it is using a basic security level so that's why the condition of cookie inside that website is extremely poor condition right at the significance level of 1% the amount of effective entropy is estimated to be 0 bits right because uh, there is no randomness in the cookie right so that's why a uh, cookie is not unique and uh, that's a security hole in the website right and you can also check your website's cookie condition using sequencer as you can see this is extremely poor it can be excellent if the cookie is unique each and every time so that can be done using sequencer this is the use of sequencer to check the entropy or the randomness of a particular data set in the next video we will learn about compare two different web application data using comparer